Now, Jordan um, Dawson, interesting. So initially he didn't leave the ground for a SCAT 6 test after his collision here with Nate Caddy. We showed that incident. Now, the AFL told us in their missive today to clubs, accidents happen in football uh, incidents. So I'm sure that Caddy is absolutely fine. He was playing the ball. He was kicking the ball off the ground. And certainly, of course, it was a secondary motion there. He'll be fine. So eventually in the last quarter, Dawson went down. Into the rooms was ruled out. Adelaide are not uh, confirming yet that it's a concussion, but that's what we expect to be the case. Just think with the changing community attitudes that the AFL so keen on bringing in, just would love to see that some of those HIAs with such a significant force would take place off the ground, but that's not what the AFL is telling us they're requiring them to do right now. Now, Ben Keyes on... Um, John. Let's just get on to that. That is staggering. And I've talked about this many, many times. If it is a hamstring, they ain't doing it on the ground. It's a brain injury. Get the bloke off and do it properly. Yep, so the one incident, he gets hit in the shoulder and then his head ricochets into the ground. Two significant incidents there. Again, as um, we've seen with Rowan Marshall, you just give him the thumbs up to the doctor and that's OK. Again, the AFL is so strong on pushing these things and we're being dragged along in their wake and we think that we're changing our attitudes. As I say, I'd love to see them uh, tweaking that one at the end of the year. But again, they just say, look, it looks a bit clumsy, but we're ticking it off. I don't think that's good enough. So it's three minutes before three-quarter time. You had all of three-quarter time with a doctor. He comes back in and plays the first six minutes of the last quarter before coming off. So the question's got to be asked about medical process because I think that's the major issue. It's not about the tackles. It's not about um, the laws of the game. It's more about how, when someone does sustain a head knock, how do, yeah. we, how do we handle that in a medical process? Exactly. And you, if you've got eight minutes in a three-quarter time break... And you've played ten minutes either side of that. The questions are all well. That's okay. It'll be... come through as delayed concussion, and you know we ticked that off, and it was a delayed um, effect. Yeah. But you know, is, is, is that point. good enough? It's a very good. I don't point. know. All I, keep, I know you get sick of me saying this, but if he has got hamstring awareness, there is no chance he's coming back on the ground mm. for a minor hamstring tweak. There's no chance in, they will go. Do not put him back on at risk of him. Uh, the hamstring's a mighty yeah, important yeah. hamstring injury. But a brain, no, we'll whack so him back think, on see how he goes. I think what's become evident to me, I, I reckon the guys that are in the class action, they're probably more complaining about how they were handled after they had a concussive episode. Not necessarily how they sustained it in the game, but more about how it was treated medically beyond. Push back out onto the field in-game or push back out into the training or push back out in a game yeah. the next week. I think that would be more their beef yeah. rather than rather than playing the game and understanding that they, they the cop head knocks. Changes the to the game, game I don't know that. But... made over time, for mm. a long time. Mm. And there was a time where we were all just accepting of, you know, getting picked off. It was, you know, I get picked off the line, oh well. I don't reckon you're looking it's back on that, that going, OK, mm -hmm. I'll accept that. I mean, anyway. Yeah, speaking of a standing eight count, so Jordan Dawson, Adelaide, tells me, officially in the concussion protocols. Last word on concussion, you were so strong on Monday. So what we're trying to do at AFL level, can we police mm. it across the community? Well, absolutely. We, we, sorry, we set the example with a lot of our rules for community sport, but don't just hang your hat on, that's the reason we're changing it, because nothing's changed at community level from Nothing. a sling tackle point of view or a dangerous tackle point of view. If not, if anything, it's got worse. Mm -hmm. Because it's hard to police out there. You've got 13, 14, 15-year-old umpires trying to umpire these games. So I see it. I'm at the coalface. I see it week in, week out. Dangerous tackles have never been more existent than what they are currently. And so that's an issue with the, the with the umpiring not being able to police it. Well, that's right. So yeah, what we're doing at the top is not flowing through to community. So don't use the community sport angle as an excuse. I understand it for king hits and abusive language against umpire and respecting umpires yep. and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, don't use the community sport one because it ain't working. It ain't right. flowing through. All right.